Oh no, not the tri 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 fight. Should I feel <sighs> Should I feel bad about them dying? That's what I almost said. Okay. I feel like we could get to the end here. I'm going to touch the microphone a bunch. Uh which potentially will ruin all my audio. But it's cool. Dang, it's not going up. I don't... I've lowered the temperature a bunch. I don't know what else to do. Oh my god, they're still dying. Stop that. I feel like if everything else dies, that just means that they'll have more room to breathe, right? So let's like inspect closely what is going on here. And just take over all this shit. Like there's a panda here for some reason. Just imagine if all of this was like modern human village. Then we'd be rolling. I think we'd be done. We wouldn't be done. 400,000, where's the primitive Homo erectus? Yeah, it's like, oh God, we'd be done. It'd be so done. I'm wondering if I'm, I'm wondering if I'm like intervening too much. I just want it to finish. Like, I feel like we're there. I feel like we're on the verge of this being like a 15 minute video. I just kind of want to leave it on this. Yeah, there's like 700,000 mice, but not 700,000 humans. 7,000, 700,000 humans. <sighs> okay, I, I so I looked at some of the videos. I've been looking at some of the, the stuff and I'm noticing, I noticed that some of the last stuff was a little jittery, which I'm hoping I switched capture cards, which I'll update. I feel, I realize that maybe I should put a lot of that info in the description. You know, that's what it's there for. That's what the description is there for. So I could stand to, you know, fill out some of that information. And so I'll, I, I recently changed what capture card I'm using to try and remedy this problem. I think it might just be the game. Like it seems okay when I'm looking at it now, but for whatever reason, and a lot of that other stuff, it just looks so jittery, like really bad. Uh, and I don't know, you know, where the problem is there, so. Dude, it's still going down. Oh my gosh. I don't know if raising the temperature or lowering the temperature helped. Because I think what I want, what I need to have happen is for these dudes to transition into... I figured they would just transition into modern humans once modern humans... <laughs> once the modern human spec became available. But see, they're like co-mingling. And they seem pretty, like, well off. But then these dudes are just like, fucking, yeah, whatever. We're over here. Not expanding. It's like, whatever. Do I have an item I can use on you to just stop making you be such a dumb dumb? Uh... Maybe if I just do that. And cheat. <sighs> I don't think I've used it directly on an organism, so I'm kind of curious to see what kind of effect that has. Yeah, I don't know, man. The technical stuff, though, I don't understand what a lot of that's coming from. I feel like I'm doing the same shit that I always do. It just happened to not look good last video. Which, was that me, or was that, you know... I feel like I should kind of go through and collect some of the items available though. I'm wondering if I just, you know, leave it, I'm just gonna put the controller down, I'm gonna play with my fidget cube. I wonder if I just leave it at, you know, macro mode. I do this, this is gonna become a weird nervous tick, won't it? Um, but I, I'm kind of wondering if maybe I, uh, 
let it go on for long enough if the trees will spread if if all it really needs is time because i can't just like plant tree seeds and be like i'm gonna paint trees here because it's a important part of the ecosystem i guess but uh yeah i don't know I don't, it's, I guess the other thing that I'm not really sure about is I don't know if I should intervene and add some water to fill out some of this desert. Or if that will even help. I mean, I could, I feel like I would, I'm gonna throw a lot of this, um, the environment here out of whack if I, if I do kind of introduce a big amount of, uh, water here like it will completely ruin the lack of organisms here right <laughs> let's see what happens if i do let's add like a gigantic bed of water like right here boop let's uh hang on before i do that let's save <laughs> all right we've evened out though so it's fine i wish i could um widen out the the chart to see uh how what it actually looks like further further away but it's fine so we're gonna do this right and then i'll just uh i'll just do one of these and then i'll uh make a river to connect them where's the river tool shut up Yeah, but you can clearly see from this that I would be terrible at playing The Sims. Which is why I just kind of refrain, refrain from it on any kind of, you know, professional capacity. I'm just like, you know, I'll play Sims in private. You know, I feel like maybe it, it wouldn't be that bad to make it so the cube closer to resembles uh, real life, where uh, it's 75% water and then 25% land. That can't be that bad, right? Our one example of life in the universe that I can use as a reference, I'm not. Oh, so he's like desert dwelling mice. I feel like it's okay if they die. Just gonna throw that out there. Because I think they want, uh, you know, the kind of deciduous trees. Is that the, am I using that word right now? <laughs> I'm just gonna throw out words and then hopefully they, they mean something cool. It's taking a significant amount of time for that to look at, look at like a grass, a respectable grassland. How many humans? Oh my gosh, they're going up. I don't know if that's the introducing more grassland has made that happen or if you know it's we're finally seeing the effects of the water of life that i introduced but who knows if i neglect to mention this on the show though there's uh, also like a uh, challenge challenge a scenario style mode where you can just like um there's there's specific goals. I think if we if we finish this now, I'll, I'll re reference it, so you can kind of see what it looks like. It's kind of cool. I don't know. It's not. It, it doesn't seem like a thing that I'd be really into, because I don't. I don't think I have. A, I'm skilled enough at this game to really make anything cool with it. Um. But it's available. It's a mode. Dude, look at that splotch of dirt there. Okay, let's see what happened. There's still this splotch of dirt, which I don't necessarily 
Like, how did that not get cleaned up? How is this not getting cleaned up? Does the river not pass enough moisture? Yes, take over their shit. I'm still kind of salty that nothing's like migrating this way. Maybe there's like too much moisture here. Cause it's all like 50. Oh no, like right in the middle, it's like kind of the same. Whatever, fuck you guys, hurry, hurry, get over here. I wonder what happens if I make a, uh... I can't really stand to lower the temperature anymore. <laughs> as funny as it would be to kind of shift things around a little bit more. Yeah, what, what's going on here? Why is there a splotch of like very dry area? I figured this river would introduce enough moisture into the air to make it so uh, there wouldn't be any problems, but I guess I, I guessed wrong. That's fine, let's just keep going. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I wish, since I have a target, I wish the, the target that I had was in this like life news feed at the top. Just like, this is the net change of the one thing that you have to really pay attention to. Oh my God, it fucking changed so much. It went up 40,000, then down 40,000 again. 40,000. That's more than like 50% of the current population. What? That's crazy. that area with the the dirt would even out still like what the fuck what's a homie got to do i guess that so the area in the little like the middle where that little grass and dirt where that human poppy i'll go to it so you can kind of check it out so this i think was like the area of the first cube like the initial bit that i had okay so gonna you know water of life yep don't worry about it just uh you know <sighs> make cool things happen no big deal no pressure I'm just trying to enjoy the, the show, as it were. Okay, so now there's a hundred thousand. What does it look like? I think if I keep feeding them, you know, water of life, then we'll cheese our way up to the objective. But I feel like that's not going to be good in the long run. Cheaters never prosper. Or so they tell me. I'm just waiting for some humans, some, <coughs> some humans to settle in one of these other places. Like, I kind of want them to, uh, I guess I completely destroyed their ecosystem that was over here. But it's okay. Just 
Just gonna collect some of these items, no big deal. Yeah, I think it just gets- the game is really frame ratey. Oh, did I do it? I'm sure you'd be happy to know that it's time to complete our mission. I'm not happy though. Let's just say I don't really feel emotions to begin with, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay. I knew all along you'd keep coming back, but now it's really is- it really is goodbye between us. I managed to fulfill my mission, and you get to go home. Sounds like a happy ending to me. I've been programmed to give the standard farewells. Goodbye, etc. Good luck with everything. Okay, good, I did it! I cheated my way there! Dun, dun. I didn't get all possible organisms. I was six times, almost seven times past the clear time. Uh, I didn't capture a nine star organism. Don't even know what that means. Clear that using a seed of evolution. Fuck that! When it was all- sorry, <laughs> yelling. When it was all said and done, I felt so brief. Though I was relieved to return to the real world, it felt sad too. Navi, I wonder what he's thinking about right now. Apparently nothing, because he's a robot. Uh, I wonder what that world was in the first place. I still feel like I'm dreaming. Oh well, I may as well go home now. Upon exiting the cave, I was greeted by a familiar forest. I took out the map and hurried home. Once I got out of the forest, there was no way I could get lost. I can see it, my house, I'm home again. At that moment, though nothing else, uh, nothing seemed out of place, I couldn't shake this feeling of unease. Maybe I'm just imagining things, I thought as I entered my house. Welcome back. But I didn't recognize the voice. Huh? What's going on? I had never seen this person before. Navi, this isn't what we talked about. What am I supposed to do now? Jeez, I don't get this world at all. Birthday's the beginning, part two, coming soon. <laughs> oh, we get credits, nice. Yeah, okay. Fucking rad. What a video game. I'm kind of, I, so I think the thing that I like the most, honestly, to be quite honest, is um, I really enjoyed the way all the shit looked. Like, I think everything looks fucking cool. Um. Everything looks highly. Why is Dice Dice K uh, Shimizu Sh Shimizu in there twice? Double? Did he do double the work of everybody else? Um, yeah, it, everything looked cool. Like if there's not a plush store where I can get all these things, I feel like they're fucking up. It, uh, it honestly seemed like it was designed the other way around, where they had like plushes of everything, and they're just like, "Hey, we got. We should make a game out of these designs." Um, is this actually my world? Like, did they take screenshots of all the dumb shit that I was doing? <laughs> I apologize. The game could have looked much cooler. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see, uh, cause I was more, I feel like I cheated at the end, but you know, we would have got there eventually, I think. No, we wouldn't have. <laughs> um, hey, I kind of, I'm kind of curious how that would have worked out for some other people, you know? Uh, because I definitely, it was, it was hard not to um, just kind of fudge it around so that the, it worked out exactly how it was supposed to. Because I think, you know, they intend for you to take a more creative approach and make something that looks more approximate, like a, a closer approximation to the real life world. Um, but I had a hard time doing that because it was so, like the tools I found to be a little bit restrictive. Like the, the, the fact that your brush was basically just different sizes of a square. Uh, you know, you can't really do much with that. So... Um, I feel like it's hard to end up, especially you, you start in a cube, it's not a globe. Uh, but I guess I wonder how you, how you make tools to be more expressive or anything or generate. I think maybe if you just, we just like, here's a river source and then it just carves its way down like a mountain or something like that. Like it finds its way to the sea level and then that's just how that plays out. Um, cause I, I think, I guess I, if I didn't have more control over the exact, <laughs> what is the screenshot? If I didn't have more control over... Like the exact place I'm moving the environment, then I guess I wonder what you know, what kind of input you have. Because then at that point, it's just the entirety of the game is kind of playing itself. 
Which, to that point, I think it'd be really cool to just watch everything evolve and then, you know, do its thing. And I still kind of feel cheapened by the fact that I gave the fruit of knowledge to the, like, primitive whatevers before they could, like, figure that out. Because I'm just like, man, that process seems kind of fascinating. And boiling it down to just giving them, like, a fruit of knowledge seems like, I guess, you know, I understand. Hmm. I would, I, so I don't think I'm gonna play like again or anything like that, or even do the challenge, the challenge mode stuff. I, I guess we'll like look at, we'll, we'll look through them. I don't think I'll be really into that kind of thing. Uh, and I, I think if you do get through that stuff, I think it turns it, the game into more of, more of a, I think I mentioned on the show that it seems, it plays out like a puzzle game. And I think that from that perspective, in that mode, it definitely is more clearly like, okay, it's a puzzle game now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's cool, though. I I really want to see... So there's a free play mode, and I, I I think the first thing we're going to do is just, like, turn that on and then put all of the environment, like, all the water down to deep sea and then just, like, here, I, what kind of stuff survives on a deep sea planet? Because that's basically... Uh, what's that? There's, like, a bunch of Star Wars and Star Trek shit. Oh, I don't know about Star Trek, but there's a bunch of Star Wars planets that's just, like, water. And like, what kind of shit lives there? Like, we built pl like platforms like way above the water. I don't know how. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Look at that. That looks great. I'm gonna press some buttons. So if you worked on this game, cool. Oh, none of the buttons do anything. Start doesn't do anything. Okay, we're gonna watch the credits then. I'm gonna play with my fidget cube. Um. <clears throat> yeah, it's oh, man. What a fascinating. I guess. When, when we started, I definitely didn't think that I would like it as much as I, I do now. <laughs> I definitely like it a lot. I, I have problems with the tools, sure, but what an enjoyable... It, it felt good to play that game, which is more than I can say for a lot of games I've been playing recently, I guess. Nisa. I kind of want to just look up and see what other people did. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna do a quick L Goog. Uh, bir uh, birthday's the beginning, other people playing it. I have not even seen, this is how like not popular this game is to be honest. I did not see anyone, anyone playing this other before me. Uh, free download, huh? Everybody makes their thumbnails, all kinds of crazy. Would you like to save? Fuck yeah, I would. I'm gonna click on, oh, you know, maybe I could mute Crow. I'm just not gonna do it right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna override my save, fuck it. Let's do it. What's, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Yeah, I want a new game plus it. 01 Avatar. So what happens if I load the game? This is like the home, the main menu screen that you probably haven't seen a lot of since the beginning. Uh, so yeah, oh, I guess, you know, if oh, I, I cut that part out, loading the game. So there's a challenge mode, which like I said, was a scenario thing. And then something, a free mode. And I don't, I didn't even click on those yet. So we'll see what those are. Oh, welcome back. Multiply organisms as you please. Yeah, dang, okay. I just kinda wanna, you know, this is like the ultimate screensaver. You just, uh, macro mode, full speed. And then you're just like, all right, good luck, modern humans. I hope you don't use up all the natural resources and then kill your planet. I just kinda wanna see, <clears throat> If I didn't use the birth, of, I think the birth of the, the fertility, the water of life, God, eventually it doesn't run out, but it doesn't, you know, the effects kind of reverse in some way. So eventually they're going to dwindle back down. And I don't think that's natural. I don't think, you know, losing half your population is natural in any capacity. All right. So yeah, now we're at 180. It was supposed to be 260, right? So, a hundred thousand people died. 
That's crazy. All right, let's see what it is now. <laughs> I'm just kind of curious to see what my real number ended up being. Oh, okay, it's like evening around like 200,000. All right. Yeah, and I guess one of the other things that I didn't really expect was I figured that some of this would convert. Like, I thought they would graduate up to modern humans once they were just like, oh, okay, we're cool. And then all of this would become modern human population, but I, I guess this is fine. I just don't, I don't think that makes any sense. Which, what does that matter, honestly? But, sure. Um, okay, why don't we just get out of here? Let's go to the title screen. I ain't gonna save. <clears throat> Let's go to the title screen. I want to see what free play mode is. Oh, no, don't say. Oh, system data. Okay. So there's challenge mode, right? Birth of the EO Raptor. Time limit 10,000. Uh, then raise the temperature. Yeah, I feel like some of this is kind of the a micro microcosm of the uh, the normal game what's up with all this like see look at that environment looks rad birth Nessie and capture it human if homo erectus is in the cube and this cube go extinct completing this challenge is going to be tough Create a generation change between Nessie and the Plesiosaurus. Okay, no, we're good. Dude, look at this. Birth of Tyrannosaurus Rex. There are no humans in this cube. First, you should birth them. Then birth the T-Rex. You should already know what to do by now, so you probably don't need my advice. Damn. Look at, like, all of the shit. Like, the construction. These look so red. Oh my gosh. Cannot alter sea terrain. Oh. Okay, that's cool. So all of that's there. There's a bunch of challenges. So I think if you play this game, if you get this game and you're just like, um, capture, oh yeah, sure. Uh, um, yeah, I think if you, uh, if you want more of a puzzle experience or a much more directed experience overall, I think it offers that from there. Uh, but if you're just me and you're just like, ah, oh, whatever, fuck it. Let's just submer submerge the entire surface in, in, uh, water. Let's fucking go. I wonder how big the pallet actually ends up getting. I want full pallet. I should have just said no on everything. What do I need the items for? I don't honestly know how we ended up with... I didn't expect to see you again. It's been pretty boring here without you. Your world is different from before. I haven't heard anything about that. Let me do some research real quick. This time, it's my turn to help you. I see. Looks like your world isn't quite the same as it was before. I'm sorry. I don't know either. But it seems that if you complete your library, the link to your world will also be complete. Do that and your world will be completely back to normal. Oh, okay, geez, why didn't they tell you? So oh, oh, no, that's nothing. Uh, all I can say is you should thoroughly study game info. That's about it. <laughs> Capture all organisms. That's not what we're about to do. Shit. Gotta pick up these items, no big deal, no big deal. <clears throat> yeah, man, I, I'm i appreciating this. And I think the thing that I appreciate the most about it is that it just feels fun. You know, it's not all this other nonsense where it's just like, oh, you gotta save the world and it's really grim and dark and all that shit, nah, fuck that. Just have a good time. I mean, it is pretty grim, to be honest.
It is quite grim, but it's fine. Look at that. Already 100% phytoplankton. Easy. This game ain't even hard. Look, I already got plankton. Fuck yes. I am kind of curious to see how big the the brushes and the palettes get. <clears throat> yeah, like pinning life news items. That'd probably be good. I kind of wish I had unlimited. Can I have cheat codes? Ah, it doesn't matter. We'll do this. It's it's our fun team project, okay? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get the whole surface to be, uh, uh, or more of the surface. Wow, it's kind of interesting that, you know, grass doesn't move over, I guess. I figured that would just naturally start to prop up, but I guess if there's no life, <coughs> grass is life, Michael, so. Um, that seems like a weird 420 joke, uh, inadvertently, but it wasn't. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably not going to play this game that much beyond this, but I got to say I enjoyed it a ton. And my six hours and 27 minutes of game time was, um, very, very, <coughs> like, cool, and I... Despite whatever I said, I don't even know what I said at the beginning. Whatever I said at the beginning, fuck that. Unless I said it was cool. In which case, yes. I wonder, man, I wonder if you could end up getting, you know, if you fuck this up enough and then you end up with like sentient uh, sea men, like mermen. If I play my cards right. That's, you know, if, if there's a, if there's anything that's uncool about this, it's how limited that has the potential to be because, uh, you know, they can't account for you making mermaids, right? That would be unreasonable. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, what I wish is like a sandbox mode. Maybe that's here and I just don't really know how to get to it. It's fine, though. We'll do this for a little bit. Uh, probably not that long. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, I kind of wonder if I can end up getting it all the way down to the ocean level. Or the, the magma level, you know? How deep does this go? How deep is your love? Let's do this in steps. Nope, 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 that was an accident. I could use the health items. I'm just like, eh, whatever. It's cool, you know, we'll, we'll make it. <clears throat> Zooplankton. I wish there was like a different icon for like not necessarily new. I think if I needed a chill out kind of game, like this might not be that bad. I tend to prefer like weird, almost MMO -y RPGs for like for that kind of scenario, but this isn't that bad, you know, just, you know, birthing a bunch of phytoplankton, fucking up the environment. Same old. Okay. 
How deep we going, video game? Nope. Oh, dang it. That kills me. Oh, God. Huh. The zooplankton population is completely stabilized. It's just the 8,960 of them, just all looking at each other, just like, all right, well, I hope we don't die. I kind of regret making the cube this big. <laughs> like, I'll just, I'll be the first to admit it. I'll own up to this mistake. Yeah, I am kind of disappointed in this free play mode. I kind of wish it was a little, damn it. Ugh, a free play or, or like a sandbox mode. That's kind of what I expected. Cause I mean, I guess if I really just wanted to, uh, oh, I fast forwarded to, if I get, if I just wanted like to uh, this, I would continue my playthrough or start a new game. And then I think they should just link them up from there. I don't know why this is a thing instead of a sandbox mode. Cause a sandbox mode with like extended tools or something, some fucked up version of the tools. That's just crazy, OP. Wow, okay. Dude, we're getting like more and more plankton. What's going on with that? What up with them? This is like killing me slowly, so let's just fucking fix this. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Honestly, what what are we doing here? Hello? How's it going, guys? <laughs> I'll do this for exactly five more minutes, and then we'll call it on this video. We'll call it on this game, man. I fucking, I like this. This is so, this was so cool. This was so much fun. Don't let anybody tell you different. Is it the best game ever? No. Does it have the most adorable dinosaurs you've ever seen? Absolutely. Fuck the land before time, just saying. Dude, two million. Imagine if I had two million, like, fucking modern humans. How crazy would that be? Really crazy, that's the answer. I should have just done this in the center. What a dum dum. You know, I still can kind of, maybe. Let's uh I don't think I'm going to save. So let's just I'll just do this real fast. I'll use the mountain item or whatever. Oh look, the environment has completely leveled out and the phytoplankton are done. They've completely, uh, we, we're done. Yeah, so what happens if I, okay, I'm gonna micro mode. I'm gonna grab the tools. I have a valley tool or whatever, right? D fucking shit, I couldn't open the menu so I just hit triangle instinctively. I don't even know what I was going for. Okay, there's like a valley. Right? Isn't there one? Am I making that up? Flamestone. Yeah, I thought there was like a, uh, a reverse mountain source. Am I making that up? Dang it, I thought it was a thing. Centers the cursor to make an area of the same height. Oh. Okay. 
I know how to do this. I know what we're doing. We're descending. Whoa, that looks cool. I could have sworn there was a fucking other item. It's like the reverse of this. I could have fucking sworn. Whoa, crazy. We're descending. Freestone. The inside of the cube is so majestic. It's truly, I wonder if I take damage. Doesn't look like it. And then we uh, mountain it up. All right, that was not as impressive as I thought it would. Ah, oh, dang it. I guess I don't really know how to use that item. This is what I should have done in my environment. Just fucking use all the items. This has like a really gross quality, like it doesn't look right at all. How do I use the field source? I don't understand how to use half these items. Clearly I should have used them more. All right, let's just use these fucking warmth stones. What happens if I put them like right next to each other? Oh. I don't even know where I ended up putting that. I guess I'll find out in a second. This is, I feel like this is not good. All right, let's fucking, oh, I added that to my favorites. Why did I do that? Yes. I don't even know what this is anymore. Okay, there you go. Birthday's the beginning. <laughs> I've lost the... I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. It's cool. It's available on PlayStation uh, and Steam. Uh, let me check the website real fast. So I can tell you all of the different places that it is available. Um, I'll talk about this more on the show again, having beat it. Um, but if you want to hear some of my... Uh, if you want to hear some of my... Sorry, I, I'm getting distracted. If you want to hear some of my uh, thoughts about the game prior to this video, prior to making this video specifically, um, then you can uh, hear it on the guest controller show and I'll, I'll link it somewhere. 
otherwise uh there you go video games uh oh i i was gonna tell you where it was available so you can get it on playstation 4 and it is also available on steam 29.99 currently on steam it's 25 percent off normally it's 39.99 and i believe it's the same on playstation let me check on amazon amazon 39.99 so there you go video games <laughs>